back to a new Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown video. There might be some sneaky bits of new gameplay in here as well, like this clip. I don't think this made the cut in my last video. But we've got some more information to talk about, so we're going to do that. Um, let's just hear the sounds of a Ford Raptor off-road. Yeah, kind of cool. Um, I'm really not a big fan of the whole, let's compare this to Forza Horizon. Don't think that's a very fair comparison in any way, shape or form. Um, it's a very different game. As the director himself said, he feels like this game is a driving game, but maybe Horizon was a racing game. I sort of understand what he means. But there's some really, really good news as my phone goes off. Microtransactions will not feature in the game at all. That is a massive, massive deal. So if you want a car in the game, you have to earn it within the game. You can't buy extra credits. None of that is in the game at all. That is incredibly, incredibly awesome news. And just to again confirm, um, this was mentioned at the last on the last video and some new, more new gameplay. G Wag Off Road again. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Lucky in the, um, the tire tracks left in the sand. Might be a, a little bit of weird, like artificial. That might be like DS, a DLSSS potentially, causing a few issues there. Yeah, just to confirm, there will be no cross play. And they did say, I actually physically asked this question myself. Um, to the game director, will the game have crossplay? And he said at launch, no. Uh, so potentially, they may add it in later on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I want to try and get let the game do the speaking as well. I don't want to just chat the whole time. So of the dimensions of the GTR look a bit off. I don't know. Do they? I mean, I own a GTR, so <laughs> it sounds good. Definitely sounds good. Taycan, not so much. Whisper quiet. Whisper quiet. Yeah, so no microtransactions. No microtransactions. Again, to confirm, no crossplay. Um, let's talk about the whole Gary situation as well. Again, I feel like they're open to feedback on this. So feel free to leave leave feedback there's not going to be properties in the game that you can purchase it's just a solo hotel you enter an elevator you then go to your garage and you have six slots i asked if they were willing to expand the amount of slots and they said potentially again based on the community feedback i feel like a lot of people still want properties based off the comments and i sort of agree having properties within a test drive game just sort of makes sense personally um yeah and they've been quoted in like separate articles as well and they did sort of say, to say this to me as well so my voice is slight, starting to go S certain cars could take a hundred to two hundred two hundred hours to grind and to unlock that car whether that's a uh, hundred hours to eventually unlock that car or it's two hundred hours to earn the currency to buy that car i don't quite know what that means but you, there's a lot of progression in this game which again I spoke about in the last video and it's very apparent that this game is going to involve some work you're going to have to earn earn these cars apart from maybe cars like this which I think they'll be quite readily available so there's definitely minimised traffic at night I would like a bit more traffic during the day. I think that was definitely some of the comments from the, from the first video. And I agree, there should be a, a bit more traffic. I always think there's a fine line. You don't want too much. If you want like a decent amount. I think that's a really fair... Yeah, it feels a little bit empty at the moment. I, as far as I know, I don't think I've seen pedestrians walking around, but I might be... Might have missed them, personally. I don't know. I didn't see them. Pedestrians might be quite nice. Just to make the world feel a bit more live and functional. 
and some handbrake turns, as you do. But I can safely say, after I've played the game, um, for again, probably about two, two, two hours? About two hours. I'm really excited for the game. Really excited for the game. It feels, I'm, I'm hoping um, Test Drive has, has free reign um, of the market in terms of racing at the end of the year. And I hope the game does really well. Um, again, we'd like to see cross play. We'd like properties to be added as well. There's going to be issues with the game um, at launch, I would imagine. Ho hopefully not. Uh, the whole, like, okay, that's what I was going to talk about. Almost forgot. The always online is confirmed. This game will be always online. The only issue I have with that, I don't mind if occasionally the servers go down for like maintenance for like an hour or so. My one issue with always online is once the game is done, you've done the DLC, you've done the whole all like your live service stuff, please add an offline mode. That is all I ask. If you want to play, if you want like an always online game, fine. Again, prepare for an offline mode at some point before you, once you finish the game, basically. I think that's fair, right? Is that a fair, fair comment to make? I, f I think so. What else was I going to talk about? Um, oh, uh, performance, and there's a performance and a fidelity option with the console version as well. So PS5, Xbox Series X and S. The performance mode, which I guess is going to be aiming for 60 FPS. Obviously, fidelity is probably going to be 30, maybe 4K. So, yeah, there will be options on how to play the game on console. I'm hoping on PC uh, the specs aren't too crazy. Um, I don't believe they confirmed the full specs yet. But, yeah, very, very excited for this. I've heard some really cool news I can't talk about, but it's very, very exciting. Yeah, my voice is that big now. This, they're obsessed with going on the road, aren't they? <laughs> I'm definitely more of a, an asphalt guy myself. It's partly why I sort of cut out some of the off-road gameplay. It's got some good, like, suspension. I think the camera movement's quite good on this bit. I feel like there's a fairly good sense of speed as well in the game. Yeah, that's fair. Like the pops and cracks. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, again, like after playing the game, very, very excited for it. Again, we'd love to cross play at some point. I'm hoping that's something. I'm not a developer, I don't know. Is that something you can add in later on? I've got friends that have console only. I will probably play on PC. So it's cool to have cross-play in the game. Um, and here's a look at the uh, the experience of buying the car. So there is a, I think I've visited a German, don't take my, don't, don't quote me on this, a German dealership. Was it a European dealership and like an American dealership? I, I'm, I, I think, don't quote me on that. <laughs> And yes, there is indicators. Um, I believe you can take the roof down as well. Windows you can open. Again, very test drive. That's all stuff you would expect. That's all still in the game. The only thing that's really not in the game from previous games is the properties. Very nice. And again, there's no visual customization really to like the outside of the cars. But again, this test drive is about having those standard looking cars, basically, the stock vehicles in this incredible world. Having to buy and um, test yourself against the very best. I don't believe that's a ray tracing on the hood, but I might be wrong. Yeah. We've done a test drive. Actually, the loading's pretty quick as well. Here's some of the sort of colors you can select. Some of the, the cockpit changes you can do. I believe all the rims are OEM. 
Yeah, there you go. An Italian, Italian dealership. Confirmed. Did I say a German? Maybe, maybe it was German, Italian, and American. I think I might have visited. Again, this is a really cool buying experience. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this the second video. Uh, I feel I'm going to try and keep these videos up. If there's no, more news, interesting stuff, more gameplay to talk about, um, check back soon. Again, keep your eyes peeled for some really cool information. Coming fairly soon. My voice is going, so I'll let you guys watch the rest of this gameplay. Appreciate your support on the first video. Um, to any fellow creators that want to use this video, please just... Um, <sighs> Just leave a comment or message me. Don't just take my video and I re-upload it and stuff. Just please be be good. <laughs> be a nice person. Be a nice fellow creator. I did a 22-hour day to get this footage to play the game. Um, it didn't just appear in my inbox. Um, it took some effort. So I appreciate the support. Leave a like. Leave a comment below. Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown is very, very exciting. Can't wait.